lesson, we're going to install and set up the Dokkan light. So to do so from your dashboard, you go to plugins and you want to go to add new. And then there are two ways to do this. You can click to upload, meaning that you've already downloaded Dokkan from the website and then you can upload it that way. Or the quicker way, I think you just go to search and then you see where it says Dokkan, you want to click to install now. And then once you've done so, you want to make sure you click to activate. So you've successfully installed Dokkan. Now you have the option to run the wizard. Uh, you want to click to run the wizard. So when you successfully install Dokkan, you get this welcome to the world of Dokkan. And you have to let's go or not right now. So let's just click on let's go. This is going to help you get your store up and going really, really quickly. So you can put your store name uh, URL in here. So I'm just going to put in Dokkan. You can ship and fee recipient. Who's going to be the recipient to pay the shipping fees? So you can lift that as the, vent, um, the vendor or you can put as admin. And then next you have the tax recipient. You have the vendor. So you have the option here to choose one of these. Uh, another thing for the map API source, you can choose the Google or the map box. We're going to cover Google Maps later on. Uh, the map box token as well. Uh, share essential details. You can lift that as off. And let's go to continue and then it's asking here you can choose to make uh the selling option for the new vendor do you want to keep that on or off you can set the commission type here percentage or a flat fee so if you want to collect just a flat fee regardless what their price is you can set it to flat fee but i really wouldn't recommend the flat fee because if someone has the price in let's say you know different amounts you, you know there's really no way to know how much they're going to charge for something so the best way that i recommend is a uh, percentage so you can put in here whatever number percentage that you want and if you want the vendor to be able to change their order status you can do the same thing here you click or you can set to off or on so let's click to continue now we're going to the withdraw options so you can have the paypal or you can have a bank transfer so this is up to you we're going to take a look more at this options later on but i want you to get your store uh, up and going you can set your withdrawal limit some people have it at 50 other have it at 100 this is pretty much up to you and then for the withdrawal status you can have complete processing or on hold so let's go to continue and then you have this recommended tracking for the woocommerce so now you're set to go let's click on continue now you have your marketplace is ready to go and just like that within a few clicks uh, your store is pretty much set to go. Now you click to visit Dokkan dashboard or more status. So let's visit the Dokkan dashboard. And then you get this message up here. So just click to allow. And as you can see, your dashboard is very simple. You know, it shows you updates here. You can put your email address, which I do recommend for new features, new things to let you know. Uh, it's really, really great and very simple and straight to the point.